the celebration of Allah's most beloved creation from a Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Allah Ramzi Minkum and that an abdukul ajis al da'ifu, miskeenu, zalim and jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence, alhamdulillah that Allah grant us a life in which to see this holy month and enter into these holy days in which to celebrate and show our love for Allah's Divinely Presence and that Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be known. That this love for Sayyidina Muhammad is in the pursuit of the love of Allah that this love that Allah puts within the heart of the servant to seek Him, to seek His Divinely pleasure, to seek His Divinely presence, to seek His Divinely realities and a treasure is hidden and the one whom seeks it must be sincere. And if in their sincerity that they're truly yearning for the pleasure of Allah for the realities of Allah to be with Allah He leads them and guides them. Being a hidden treasure, Allah didn't say that I'm the obvious, He said, I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known. And people think it's the obvious that you just say you love Allah and therefore it is. And the path of a salik and one whom seeks out, there are many signs within their characteristic that they know that Allah is, is a hidden reality in everything. And with their sincerity they found the love for Allah in all His creation. Because anyone truly looking for the love of Allah will see it in His creation, will see it in the beatific flowers and natures, the oceans, the skies, the creatures, the animals, all the love that they show and all of the… they exist within an immense Divinely love that when they're sincere and they begin to seek, they see that Allah signs are within all His creation. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. And as a result of that they start to move to go deeper, Ya Rabb, that I want to go deeper into your ishq and deeper into your love. And Allah begins to guide their heart of the servant that, seek out my most beloved creation. If you're fascinated by the beauty of nature, its trees, its… its openness and vastness, the oceans, I mean everything that we can possibly try to describe. People go to the ocean say, SubhanAllah, they go within forests and natures, there are immense amounts of variations of flowers and creatures and everything that is living and existing in awe of Allah's creation. That how Allah creates all of these and all these variations and the immensity of everything means it's that sincerity in which the seeker is seeking to go deeper into the Divine reality and the Divine grace. And it's Allah's ni'mat, it's Allah's 
grace upon the servant that I want you to seek out that which I most beloved, my most beloved creation. This creation in which my mercy is a sign within it that His reality speaks on my behalf. Means that everything that Allah wants to be known by created in the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah So means that this is a, a yearning towards the Divine the Presence in which Allah clarifies in this reality that I'm a hidden treasure. It wasn't going to be so obvious, you had to find me and your life is about seeking out and finding me in everything. We said that when the servant is sincere they find Allah in everything. They find it in the tears of a child, they find it in the proximity of someone whom they love, they feel the Divine the Presence within them and there are many not and many poetries and, and expressions from those whom are ashaqeen that they can find Divine love in every expression. They find it within the tear that comes down their faith, face, they find it in the happiness, they find it in their breath means this quest for Divine Love wasn't going to be so obvious that I just say I love Allah and it therefore happens but it has to be something within their heart and in their soul that as they're yearning and they have this sincere yearning of drawing near Allah begins to show the servant His signs within everything. So now that you saw it in this beatific nature, you see it in how the creatures and the animals how they express a love for each other, that the, even the parents of animals how they love their children, how people love their children, all of the different realities of love that we see around us. Allah then draws us near and says, there's something that I created out of this immense love and through this reality I want to be known. All the creation are signs of Allah but the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad was created to represent Allah The beauty of Allah the grace of Allah the majesty of Allah the rahmah and mercy of Allah the word of Allah means the complete package. Some find love with nature, they have only half of it or a third of it. Some find love in creatures and in other people and they have only a portion of it. Some find love in their family and they have a portion of it. The one whom becomes complete they found it in the reality of Prophet Because as they draw near that's why they call Rasul Kareem because some people say, why Kareem? But because they haven't drawn near to that reality that when they draw near to the reality of Prophet what emanating from Allah's Divinely grace is residing in which you draw near to that reality and you feel the generosity of Allah flowing through you. Because the shaykhs they talk from experience not from philosophy. That in whatever hardship they had in life when they began these durood, when they began the salawats, when they began the, the lifelong process of sharing the magnificent status of Sayyidina Muhammad to other servants. Every difficulty became an ease, every hardship became an ease, every shortcoming short became an ease. That Allah's Divinely grace was in everything, filled every void. 
took away every difficulty, put so much love within their hearts that if there was something wrong they forgot about it because of the love that they feel and what Allah filled with the love. You can't make somebody two feet higher but it can fill them with so much love that they, they feel they're on top of the earth, they're the highest and tallest person in existence because it's Allah's Divinely love and grace that fills their heart. And that can only be achieved when they come to the love of the wholeness, the common. And that's when they come and they teach that, okay why just do you look only at nature and, and you're in awe of nature and in awe of your family and in awe of, of creation. Come to the one whom exhibits all of this grace, encompasses it, that represents the mercy of Allah They talk of other prophets of mercy which are complete falsehoods. Those prophets were very tough. The actual mercy of Allah is in Sayyidina Muhammad The rahmah and the mercy of Allah the one whom brought the heavenly law of Allah The one whom showed the immense grace of Allah that as you draw near with your salawats with all of this love and all of these practices, you feel the satisfaction of Divinely grace upon your soul. And this reality of Rasulul Kareem dresses our entire lives that takes away every sadness, every difficulty. Everything becomes solved and then some people say, but it doesn't look like that was solved. They say it was solved because you're filled with so much love from Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad that problem doesn't matter to anything. They say you could pull the teeth out of Imam Ali as soon as he went into his tafakkur and entered into that state of love. That you could chop me in a thousand pieces as soon as I entered into that state of love. That was the expression and the understanding because some things that we want resolved and we think have to be resolved, they don't have to be resolved. What's lacking is Allah's Divinely love and it doesn't come common and perfected without filling in the pieces and the reality is Prophet Means he comes in and fills the being with Divinely grace and Divinely love. So means this is a celebration of the love of Allah Because the one whom truly found that reality that by coming towards the love of Prophet my love for Allah infinitely expanded. When we drew near to the love of Prophet every difficulty became at ease. When we drew near to the love of Prophet that everything became blessed within our lives. And then later the awliya would come and teach that that was the secret of awzu. That how can you seek refuge in Allah when shaitan is everywhere? And that you have to be in enough refuge just to feel the presence of that Divinely Presence. Shaitan is bombarding so much that people don't even feel that Divinely grace and Divinely Presence. And how can they? And then awliya give us the formula, very easy, draw near to the reality of Prophet Every durood, every expression of love, every salawat, every celebration of this love, it draws you into the khirqah. As if Prophet ﷺ's jubba is opening and telling us, come, come to be with me. Don't fear shaitan and don't run after shaitan but come to my presence and as you remember me, I'll remember you. And if you make salawat upon me, I'll make salawat upon you and I'll accompany you in your companionship on this life and in the hereafter. In the filthiness of this life the greatest companionship is the companionship of Sayyidina Muhammad 
in which you wouldn't exchange it for all the money in the world. All the wealth in the world has nothing in value to that companionship. And that companionship is gained with these practices. The salawat, the durood, the attending of the majlis and putting that faith in action. Go out as ambassadors for the love of Prophet the love of the holy companions and Ahlul Bayt. And we do, do good deeds and good actions with good character so that his rida and satisfaction that he is content with our representation, not embarrassed by our representation but I'm content. I feel a satisfaction in the way that you want to represent my love and all your expressions will bring his holy companionship. Then do you have any doubt that Allah is with you? If Prophet is accompanying the servant then no doubt Allah is with them. And that becomes the secret of the path. People are hoping to have Allah with them but they don't think anyone else is important to be there. They don't have an emphasis on making salawats, they say, no, no, we're going to be companions with Allah But Allah clarified in Qur'an that Allah is with Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhada wa Salihin. These are the best of company, Allah's with them. And that becomes the whole reality of the path that, why do you think you're going to keep the companionship of your Creator when the Nabi'een and the Prophets are not with you? The Siddiqeen and the holy companions and truthful are not with you. Those who struggled in the path are not with you and the righteous are not with you but yet you feel that Allah will be with you. And this is the, the flaw that shaitan puts into the heart of people. Those four categories are what set us straight every time we become crooked. Nabi'een says, don't do like that. So you make your salawat, you do your durood, you do your majlis and represent me with good character. Every time you do something wrong Prophet inspires within your heart, this is not our way. And if you're with Siddiqeen means that you're following the turuqs and the tariqahs and the shaykhs who are from the ones whom her arts, hearts are open and their majlis are all salihin. Because the shuhada means that they took the way in which they became mushahada and their hearts are open. They witness and they hold tight to the hands of the Siddiqs and they bring everybody on this path into the presence of Prophet and they are the walking four corners of the Kaaba, the living Kaaba. Their hearts are the living Kaabas of Allah and wherever they are, they are a qibla in which direct people to the worshipness of Allah and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad This becomes then the immense realities of Mawlid the Nabi It is the finding of Allah it is the love of Allah it is recognizing, Ya Rabbi, that within this reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah I found your grace, I found your mercy, I found your, your love, your law, I found your Divinely speech. If anyone wants to hear the Word of God they have to take from the tongue and the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad for every other word is corrupt. Look all their books now. We said, now they all became mushrik waiting for a man who will call himself God. So anyone who loves the Creator and wants to hear from the Creator then run to the tongue of the Creator, the one whom Allah created to speak on His behalf and to represent His Divinely Kingdom here in the hereafter. 
We pray that Allah dress us with the immensities of Mawlid the Nabi and the immensities of this love and this ish within our hearts, our souls and that it passes into the children and generations to come that will carry this light and this love of Prophet Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.